Hey, Sheik Mace with Phoenix Longevity Arts. And in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about going on vacation, but not necessarily a really expensive vacation, even though that might be what you want to do. Even if it's just a staycation. I'm in my home state of Arizona, and I'm doing a wonderful three-day hike two nights. And this staycation only really cost me the price of gas to get here, like $30, $40. And it's a wonderful hike, and what it does, it allows my emotional state, my mind, my brain, and my body to kind of reset. And so maybe a, a 30 mile three day hike in waterfalls is not your idea of a staycation or a vacation, but for me it is. I work out so much with teaching classes and doing videos for you guys and then keeping up my own martial arts, yoga, and fitness training that to do a 30 mile hike is like a break and it feels good for me. So I want you guys to think about people in different professions and careers in life, like nurses and doctors and lawyers and construction people and contractors and office workers and software programmers. And working a eight to 12 hour day every single day is extremely difficult. And even if you have always done it and you think that you can do it tomorrow and the next day, there is a side effect and uh, sometimes a negative one to working that many hours in a row and that hard. And what happens is people get stressed. They get anxiety. These are some of the side effects we're talking about. They get insomnia. They get short fuses. They get obesity. They might get diabetes. They get a lot of mental, physical, and emotional diseases that then they have to go and take medication for. And then you have a whole society of people that are medicated with drugs to make you go down, drugs to make you come up, it's just a yo-yo, yin and yang, back and forth. There's nobody on the planet, in my opinion, that I've met that has insomnia, for an example, that would come with me on a 30 mile hike and be unable to sleep after 15 miles in 110 degree heat because your body's so wiped out, you just conk out when the sun goes down. So I want to encourage you guys to do something to break up the months. We are human beings and we're species of longevity, like tortoises, we're gonna live for 100 years. So I'm only 32 years old, we have to find ways to break up the month. And that might be just a one day hike, it might be a three day hike, it might be a trip to Russia or a trip to you know, Latin America, but you have to find something that is different than your normal grind, that frees your body up and reconnects you with the earth. You don't have to go to a Christian, Buddhist, Taoist, Muslim church to find that emotional stability. You can come right to the church of Mother Earth right here. Okay, so here's one example and I hope you guys heed my advice and try it this month. Break it up, but what will happen is when you come back to your family and your relationship and your job and your life back into reality, you'll feel so relaxed, you'll sleep so much better, and at least you'll have a little bit more of a empty cup to then fill it back up with all the stresses of your normal grind, your normal life. I'll see you guys next time.